Yo, I'm Naz, and I'm dropping another impromptu review on y'all. And this time, what we're gonna be doing a review of is the BAM. This is the Skill 360 Quick Select um, 4 volt max screwdriver. Now, what makes this different from the last one, the last uh, screwdriver, 4 volt screwdriver that I did, is that this one, as you see, this one's slightly bigger, and this one, it has it holds it actually holds 12 bits in it so you could put 12 of your favorite um, bits that you use regularly and put them bad boys in there and you'll always have them at the ready for when you tackle those products um, projects I should say like uh, putting furniture together or shelves or something like that so me I know I'm gonna probably have like a couple of different sizes of Phillips a couple different sizes of flat maybe like two different sizes of uh, um, of uh, the uh, hex um, the hex screws, you know, the Allen wrench, Allen key screws, and uh, maybe like a, a star in there, throw a star in there, you know, something like that. Well, anyway, this is telling me talking about what I'm going to put in it. Let's just get into this. Um, this is what the package looks like on front. Let me, um, so uh, you can get an idea what it looks like. Let me get in close so you can see it. 360 select by skill. You focus in, what does that say there? four volt max screwdriver and it also says it in Spanish I imagine lithium holds a charge for up to 18 months that's what she looks like in the front this is USB rechargeable just so you know okay this the bottom got all your info down there barcodes different barcodes like everything else made in China you know there was your contents and your specs. Oh, it does come with 12 bits, it says. Comes with your 360 select, 12 bits, micro USB charger, charger cable. Four volts max, 210 RPMs, one quarter inch hex, 1.2 pounds with 12 bits stored. Okay. And this is what it looks like in the back. So that's what you're looking like. They really made this bad boy look like a like a uh, like a six shooter gun that's pretty cool you can take the whole magazine out I imagine and uh, swap them in uh, we'll see I hope that's the case because that would make the most sense that you could take the whole magazine out and then swap them rather than have to load them one by one in there that would be stupid uh, it has an LED light on it as you can see there Fold reverse indicators, battery fuel gauge. Oh, okay. We really put a little bit of thought in this. All right, so let's get into this bad boy. It's pretty easy. Thought I thought I was gonna need the scissors. nice feel to it it's pretty well built the bits are shaking around in there all right okay there goes your charger right here it's good that they actually provide you with a charger because I know my, the other one they just gave you a wire and here goes a wire in case you want to like charge it on your laptop or something. But uh, this is cool that they actually gave it to you. So I can use this to charge both, both the ones I have. And here's the literature they give you, but I just go ahead and stay in there. I'm not reading that crap. Okay. Now let's see if she has some juice. Oh, it's locked. Okay, let's see. Oh, looks like there's no power. Didn't charge it at all. So let's go around this bad boy real quick and uh, see what we're working with. Um, I'm not, okay, looks like you just turn it to select which bit you want. Um, no, this has, this has power to it. Oh, maybe it's set to not go until you actually push the bit forward. Oh, I think that's what it is. Well, anyway, that's how you see which bit is in there. 
by you turn it, you load the button, and you can see right there is the Phillips head. Right there is another Phillips. Uh, another Phillips. Uh, another Phillips. Okay. All these Phillips. Okay, now you got a square. I'm not sure what exactly sure what that's called, but that's a square head. A smaller square head. It looks like a star. A smaller star. An even smaller star. Uh, a large flat head. Smaller flat head. Even smaller flat head. Now we're back to the Phillips. So those are the 12 bits that it came with. I'd probably keep most of those and uh, maybe trade it out for a couple, trade a couple of those for an Allen key. But uh, so let's right now that we're on a Phillips head, I'm gonna switch to a smaller one. That seems good. Now you press this forward to load it. Bong, just like that, just like a gun. And now it works. And you have the trigger where it's a, it's a nice trigger on there. Forward reverse. And you see the LED light. You just press the trigger in a little bit. You can light up what you're trying to do. It's pretty cool, I'd have to say. So let's see how we take this out now. Now I have it in the middle on lock. Put it in the middle to lock. So now you just have your light. And you pull the bit back like so. And I imagine you should just be able to just... No, you can't take this out. What? I gotta do it one by one? Oh, that bit's in there too. It's got a pretty good magnet on there. So you don't have to worry about your bits going anywhere. So that's how you swap them out. You gotta turn it one by one, put the new bit in there, pull it back, make sure the bit is your, well, it's your standard bit size. So, so that's uh, unfortunate that you can't pull the whole thing out and just swap them out real quick. You gotta do one by one. But you know what? The concept of it is still pretty cool. So when I come back in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a couple screws and drill into some stuff. And um, Or I may just put something together. I just got something. I gotta put a chair together for my wife and a shelf. So I may just uh, film some of that instead. So um, catch on a flip. Okay, real quick. Um, I didn't finish going around the whole thing. I just wanna go around it real quick. Um, this is this side of it right here. This is the front where you have the, your laser light there. That's the other side. You got all your specs there or all your stuff on there. All your electric heads like that stuff. The back of it right here, the bottom is where you charge it, micro USB. The top, this is the slide to load your bit. And this right here, these arrows is four reverse indicators. See, forward. Reverse, so that lets you know which which direction you're going. And this is your battery indicator right there in the middle. So, um, like I said, when I come back in, we're gonna screw some shit. So, um, catch on the flizzip. Okay, we back in, showing this bad boy in use. Got all my nails, all my stress, my screws stuck to this. Using this bad boy right here. 